Okay, hi guys, and welcome to the video. Um, I wanted to do something a little bit different. Uh, I really fancied coming on and doing a live stream. I was just watching Zahir and okay, Bex. Hi guys, and oh. welcome to the video. Hold on. Um, uh, I really fancied. Hang on. What? <laughs> right. Is that better? <laughs> I've done hundreds of these live streams and I still forget to mute the other window. Okay. So, yeah, what I wanted to do was just do a spot of eBay, <laughs> eBay uh, research. I was looking at this earlier. I love this book. Um, it's all about vintage toys from my era, mostly 70s and 80s stuff. I think I did mention this in a video a while back. Um absolutely love this book it's really well written it's really funny and it's just got some wonderful pictures in and some just brilliant memories if you're as old as me um and i was looking at it last night and i thought i was going to look up some of this stuff and find out what it's worth on ebay so i thought why not do it live so that's the plan and that's what we're going to do so i'm going to screen share in a minute well i'm going to find we're going to have a look in here we're going to find some of these things that I remember, maybe some things that you remember, and then we'll go onto eBay and see if they're worth anything. I doubt everything in here will be, um, but I know there's some stonking things in here. So yeah, I can't wait. Um, I haven't looked up, I've looked up a handful of bits from in here, but most of this I have no idea. So we'll be finding out together. So let me just dip in the chat. Um, if you're watching after the event, the, the live chat will be scrolling alongside, so you can keep up with that as well and see what people were saying. Uh, hi there, Peter. Peter Ray and Peter Cummins. Hi, Jason. Welcome. Uh, downloaded Fortnite yet, yeah, Nick and Andrew Hills. The Mac version is out there. I'm not... I can't really play first-person shooters. I never got into that genre, and I would be embarrassing. So... Probably not going to happen. Um, Peter Cummins, my vintage Astro Wars I got for £13 and was working when I got it has decided to die. Ah, oh, that's miserable. Yes, Peter Cummins. Ooh, TV Cream, great book. I put a link below to this. You can get it on Amazon for next to nothing. I think there are penny booksellers that have this. If you're into your vintage toys, if you're my sort of age, I can recommend it just for the memories. And like I say, it's really well written. It's funny. Uh, this gives you a good example. Sorry, Ludo for Bastards. That gives you an idea of how it's written. It's really good. And it's just great for inspiration, um, you know, and information on what to buy and what to pick up. Um, so, yeah, that's the plan. Let me just scroll to the end of the chat. Uh, Peter Cummins, just imagine Nick in a Mario Kart going across that Fortnite landscape. <laughs> uh, yeah, okay. So let's find the first thing to look up. Well, actually, I know what I want to look up first. This was a game that I think the first time I shared when I, when I got this book, um, there was something in here I had not thought about since the 70s. And I did actually briefly look that up, but it was a long time ago. So I'm interested to see if it still has value. It is this. Shoots away. It was a big thing. You basically looked through. No, you look through here. And that had like a mirror in the end of it. And you looked down onto this revolving. Like. Disc. And then this little plane, you can't really see. Here you go. This plane had these bombs on it. And you press the trigger and you drop bombs and you try to get them in these little uh, like bomb craters. It was the most fun game. So I'm going to look that up, see if anyone's got any for sale, see if any have sold recently. I did look it up, like I say, when I first picked up this book. I can't remember what they were going for. Anyone remember that? Anyone remember playing that? I said I never had it. Um, but friends of ours that lived on a farm, I lived on a farm in the 70s. And we kind of knew local other farmers and people that lived near us. And there was this quite rich family near us. And they had all the cool stuff. And they had that. 
and it was epic. Um, you look like you're broadcasting from a space station. Okay. Joe, you remember that, do you? I, I would love to pick one up. I'm tempted to just buy one so I can play it and then sell it on again, even if I just get back what I've paid. Anyway, let's go into eBay. We will find out. Let me know. Put your guesses in. What do you think these are worth these days? I remember it being good, but I can't remember how much. Um, okay, so I'm going to screen share. Do, 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 do. Right, now I need to find that window. So let's have a look. Hopefully, I'm going to enlarge this a bit so you can see a bit clearer. Shoots away. Let me expand this. I don't want to cover the chat up. No, hold on. Let me shrink the chat down. Oh, that's a good start. Let's come up with one. We'll go into um, solds, actually. So what's available right now? Three. Somebody's trying to get $119.99 for boxed one, $64.99 boxed. Are these UK? Let's go UK only. $65, $65, dollars Wow. Completed. There you go. So they managed, this was on auction, $57.78. Let's go in, see if we can get some better pictures than we're in the book uh see original please have some cool pictures here we go so that's the box wow it's in a bit of a state there you go that gives you more of an idea it's such a cool thing so it had, takes batteries and this whole base bit here rotates and then you look through this little bit here and your view is through the ship no ship uh airplane and then you you pull a trigger down here this winds the plane in backwards and forwards here so you go backwards and forwards and then you fire your bombs and you have to get your little bombs to land in these little bomb crater things it doesn't sound amazing but as a i was probably about five when i played this i guess and oh wow look they're sealed what is that unused no way Oh, that is so cool. So that's they're the little bombs you see, and they hook on to the underside of that plane, and then you fire them. Oh, I want one. I so want one. All right, let's see what other people have managed to get. Uh right, 85. They took an offer. 42. That was cheap. See, if I'd have seen that, I'd have probably had a sneaky bid on that bought it just so i can play and reminisce for a few days or weeks and then stick it back on like buy it now 80 or 100 or something because at christmas this sort of thing will sell to people that are buying presents for their dad brother you know I'm, i i so want to do that i'm going to try and pick one of these things up cheap i've never seen one at a car boot sale lot anywhere so that shoots away definitely one to look out for if you do pick one up, I urge you to play it. It is the coolest, coolest thing. Okay, let me come out if I can find the window to stop. All right, let's have a look in the uh, chat. Uh, hi there, Zahir. That's Zahir's on his other channel. Did you know he's got another channel? Uh, only cool stuff. Uh, nice prices on those. Never seen that game before my time. Yeah, I'm considerably older than you yeah i played on one as i was saying must have been five or six or so when i played that thing and it was just heavenly i loved it and i completely forgot about it until i got this book so there it is so yeah epic um i bet the batteries in it would have been the blue ever ready size c yes i bet they were okay yeah, Darren has a good point. You can find out how much somebody took on a on a best offer. Uh, there's a website called watchcount.com. Uh, really handy, that. I might do a video about that at some point, if I remember. Right, let's have a look. Let's whiz through, find something cool. Oh, that's that electronic battleship. I've, I picked one of those up, and it's under there. Um, they're not worth a great deal. Um, oh, 
Oh my god, I remember these from primary school. Cool thing about this is it has the release dates. So we've got 19, what does that say? 77. That's the James Bond uh Corgi 007 Lotus Esprit with its little underwater fins. I don't know if I should look that up. Let's see if I can find something really cool before that. Crossfire. Oh, who remembers Crossfire? That was cool. Basically a marble, well, a ball bearing in a little like sleeve. And then you fired other ball bearings at it. Vintage downfall. Love that. Had that as a kid. Where did that come out? 1970 that came out. Jeez. Right, let's find something random to look up. My God, there's so much cool stuff in here. Escape from Colditz. I've never found one of those. Somebody said in the chat, Evil Knievel. Here we go. I remember this. Again, I didn't have one. You used to wind it up, wind it up, wind it up, and then the back wheel would go bananas, and then you'd like flip it off its little stabilizer thing, and it would just go nuts. Um, so let's see if we can find any of them. That was out in 1973, the year I was born. It's called Evil Knievel Wind Up Right Wing Stuntman. Um, okay. Oh, maybe that's because of his uh, top. Right, let's have a look. Evil Knievel. I have never found one of those in the wild. I've no idea what they're worth. Peter Cummins, yes, wind it, wind it. Then it'd fall over. Yeah, it'd fall over and the wheel would just spin like crazy and you quickly stand it up and yeah. Yeah, I can't remember. Somebody in our family had one of those or a friend. My wind up was red. Interesting. My older brother had one, Claire. Okay, let's do this. How much do you reckon they're worth though? Got to be 60-ish, says Peter. I don't know. It, with toys, it all depends on condition, doesn't it? I bet if there's one boxed, it would be way beyond that. Unboxed like that, working. I can see it being 40, 50 quite easily. Let's have a look. Do, do, do. I love doing this stuff. I sit here for hours on my own doing this and getting excited, which is why I kind of wanted to share it with you guys. Um, I just love this stuff. Okay, so da, da, da. share. Let's go and have a look. Which window is it? Not that one. Okay, so evil. No, it was spelt funny, wasn't it? Yeah, evil. Is that right? Evil can. Oh, it's spelt weird. K N I E B E L. I bet there's loads of spelling errors on these listings. Okay, is that vintage there? Wow, look at that. So the are we on completed? Yeah, there's a green one there. Uh, completed listings. That didn't sell at 149. That looks like something else. Oh, I just put Evil Knievel, didn't I? Hold on. Uh, so put wind up. Here we go. Right, there's one with the red base. Somebody was saying that theirs had a red base. Holy Look at that, 220. Wow, that's with the box. Let's have a look at these pictures. Holy moly. Yeah, look at that box. Mind you, the box isn't great. That is so cool. Oh, wow. It's really quite a basic thing when you look at it, isn't it? And there he is. <laughs> Wow, that's in good condition. No wonder that went for a lot. And there's the bike. Oh, my God, it's so basic. Yeah, so you wound this handle, and then that cog there engaged with uh, something on the bike. And, yeah, then you just let it go, and it whizzed across your kitchen and hit the cupboards on the other side. Oh, that is so cool. So that, yeah, 12 bids, 220. Jeez. Yes, Peter. 220, I know, yeah? Good memories, exactly. Peter Ray, I was looking up some die-cast James Bond vehicles earlier as listed nine, and I'm now in profit. Nice. Got them rather cheap a year ago. Good stuff. Wow. 
Right, let's have a look, see what they go for. I mean, obviously, that one's a bit exceptional. Fantastic condition in a box. Oh, there's another one boxed. 201. Just a bike. 10 quid. And that's it. And then you're on to international. Oh, and these are... Oh, there's, there's a blue base one there, like. And a different bike. He's got a chopper. That was in America. 69.31 equivalent in pounds. There's not much unless uh, let's just try Evil Knievel toy. Will you take less? Who would pay 220 pounds for epoxy plastic motorbike? Exactly. Oh, look at that. No way. What happened there? 19 pounds. Is that f what? Is that vintage? No, there is no gyro winder with this item. The motorcycle gyro does not fully work. Box is imperfect. I still think that's cheap, really. Mind you, no winder, just a bike. But you do have the box. Hmm, who knows? Still seems cheap. And then we're on to car. He did a car? Look at the money on that. Well, that they took an off on that. Yeah, rare as hen's teeth then by the look of it. So if you see one, just grab it. And if you can remember, I'm going to try and sear into my mind what this winder thing looks like because it looks like they're going to have money. They're going to have some value on their own. So it's basically got a handle on one side and a little cog underneath where the bike would sit. There you go. Well. Okay, let me come out the screen share and we'll find something else. So, yeah, there's two to put in the old brain box. Evil Knievel, Stunt Bike, and the Shoots Away. Oh, the 70s were so cool. Okay. Oh, I remember this. My sister had this. Do you remember that? Was it Fisher-Price? Yeah, it is. Fisher-Price Activity Centre. She used to have that fixed to the side of her cot. My youngest sister is a lot younger than me. Um, she's, what is she now, 30? So she was, uh, I think I was 13, 14 when she was born. She's a lot younger than us other three. Yeah, I don't know if they're worth money. I could look it up, I guess. See if I can find something cooler than that, though. Flight deck. Don't remember that one. Anyone remember this? Flight deck. The original flight sim, it says there. Don't remember that. All right, let's see if I can find something cool. Oh, my God, I had this. I played this to death. Oh, I'm going to look that up. Invader 1000. When did that come out? 1980. I bet that's the year I got it. It was so simple. It basically had three. It was like Space Invaders. It had three rows of just like little LED aliens. And they kind of came down the screen at you and you used to shoot them and you'd have a little red spaceship that went across the top. If you could hit that, you got bonus points. There's a ripoff for Space Invaders. Look at that mini munch man. Oh, my God. That's the only LCD I had kind of back in the day. I remember people having these. There was, there was one called Caveman, wasn't there? Oh, my God. That's so cool. Right. Let's see if I can find the one that I had, this yellow one. It's called there Invader 1000, Galaxy Invader 1000. Hi, Heelsman. Don't apologize for being late. I'm just getting excited about vintage toys I, from this book, uh, TV Cream Toys. And then we're going into eBay and seeing, seeing what they sell for. No, 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 no. What's that? <laughs> Is that a theme tune to something? Galaxy Invader, about 30 quid, you reckon, says Brinko. I'm going to go in and have a look. That's another one that I'm so tempted to just buy one, kind of at the going rate, just so I can have it in my hands and play it again and then sell it on for the same money just to just to experience it. I've never seen one of those in the world. Okay, I'm going to stop waffling, and we'll go and see if we can find some. Uh, why can't I see it? There it is. Okay. Do, do, do. 
Right, so what was it called again? Galaxy Invader 1000. Here we go. Ooh, cheap. Oh, not uncompleted. Let's see what they finish at. Oh, not so cheap. <laughs> well, that's a boxed one. Don't know what the offer is. Uh, could find out, but um, yeah. Unboxed 29. See, that's not as much as I imagined there'd be. God, just looking at that takes me back. Oh, and that's missing the toggle. What does it mean? To... Oh, the little joystick here. Wow. Best part of £100 in its box. That was so undersold. Check that out, look. Oh, I wish I'd sniped that. Wow, £21. I'm going to have to snipe one of these, you know. There, you can see that one lit up. Oh, my word. I used to play this under the covers in my bed. Oh, my word. I'm going to go into the pictures. Hold on. Yeah, you'll see just how basic this thing was. But I, it was so seriously exciting to me. So there's, there's the little red ones that just went across the top. There was a score there. You were this thing at the bottom, and you fired bullets up at these guys who slowly came down the screen that's in oh amazing condition oh i so want one and that was boxed oh 65 that went for where was the cheap one there was a cheap one wasn't there 1250 no way mm, oh not working uh -huh. so yeah unboxed going rate 30 to 40 boxed it jumps right up to pushing 100 pretty much any of these little electronic uh games are worth money uh let's have a look in the chat do, do, do. i was gonna say 69 i bet you were Karen. <laughs> uh rich sutton i got an original play school mr frosh mr frost crushed ice maker from 1987 missing the hat and flavors but everything else was there cost me 149 and one has it up for 40 pounds an auction and 70 pound buy it now nice find hold on let me just come out of here i'm so excited looking at those i i do want to just snipe one it's the sounds more than anything i want to have a go on it just to hear the sounds Oh, I played that so much. That was before I got, well, we had like a Pong machine, you know, like a bouncy ball TV games console, which I guess was very early 80s. But I really got into computer games with my Sinclair Spectrum. Girls World are oh, the creepiest things. Anyone remember this? I'm sure my sisters had those. Right. Oh, vintage guess who? I played this so much with my sisters. I love that. Okay, let's find something really cool. This is Haunted House, which is a version. Basically, it's Ghost House. Um, as you can see there, it's just called Haunted House with different detailing on it. He Man. Oh, man. Hungry Hippos. Hornby. I had Oz. I had a big Hornby set. I had a one, two, five Hornby train. Um, cost my parents a fortune, I think. Junkyard. No one remember Junkyard? I have no memory of that. 1975, my sort of era. Lego. We all know about Lego. Right, I'm going to find a couple more. Um, Magic robot. Oh, here we go. Let's see if we can find this. That is so cool. Knight Rider. I don't remember this, to be perfectly honest. Matsushiro Knight Rider radio control car. Can you imagine how few of those survived? Do you reckon we'll find one of them? I'm going to have a look. Oh, let me scroll to the end of the uh, chat. Hi there, T. Suzanne Davies. 
Gotta love guess who, says Darren. Yeah. Such a simple game. But we played that just endlessly, it felt like. That and Monopoly and Downfall and Cluedo. We had all the classics. Yes, Peter. Kit. All right, let's do this. I reckon if there are any, they're going to be worth a tidy sum because so few will have survived. Oh, I'm not screen sharing. Hold on, hold on, hold on. All right, what do you reckon if we find one? What's it worth? Claire King, I just sold a 1983 Werebear a few weeks ago. Ooh, what did you get for it? Yeah, I reckon these kit cars, if we can find any, will be silly money. What do you reckon? Right, where's the window gone? There. Okay. Do, do, do. That's the wrong screen. <laughs> hold on, hold on. Oh, here we go. There it is. There it is. Right. So, a uh, night rider uh, radio. If I just put radio, that should bring up. Uh, is that the one? Ooh, that's cheap. See, it's weird, isn't it? I would have thought that would have been sky high. Vintage 118 scale. Yeah, that's the one. Pretty sure that's what I've got here in the book. 1982. Let's go into that, see if they've got some decent pictures. So here came in at 70. See, yeah, I would, I would have thought that. Claire got £25 for that. What was it? A bear, you said. Nice. Peter was on at 55 Yeah, you see, I thought, thought. oh, mind you, this was on auction, so maybe they'll go for more. Um, I'll buy it now. Let's see if they've got, they've got any pictures. <clears throat> I wonder if it's working. Car and controller in good condition, but unfortunately not working. Okay, okay. We'll find a more expensive one. So this is not working with a pretty bashed up box by the look of it. Why is that not working? Here we go. Well, the box isn't too bad considering its age. Pretty uh, ropey looking car and not working. So let's see if we can find some more. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Original box 34 on bids. 30 on bids. 20 spares of repair. No, no, no. <laughs> spares of repair. Here we go. Who said 70? Oh, is it here? Is this on bids? This is on bids as well. Ooh. Oh, did I click that link? No, I didn't. Okay. Oh, look at that. Much better condition. Wow, how cheap and tacky is that? Matsushiro. That is pretty cool, though. So, yes, yeah, 70 on bids, I reckon. Buy it now, Christmas, man cave gift. Oh, no, £100 there. 82 on bids. Nobody's put it on buy it now. Ah. Oh. 89.95 took an offer. Buy it now, 65. So, yeah, if you hold out, if it's in good condition, if it's working. You can push a hundred pounds on this. That one. Let's go. Let's have a quick look at that one. Oh, I love vintage toys. I can't wait for the boot sale season to properly start again. Get a few nice finds. Look at the box on that. No wonder this went for good money. That is wow. Is that all the pictures? Come on, at least use your twelve pictures on something like that. Really. Come on, you'd want to get at least, you know, a shot of the controller, a shot of the top of the car, the underside of the car, the instructions. You get 12 pictures, people. And that's all you put. Still, it did the trick. £108. Let's see. Da -da 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 -da. New old stock. Slight damage to polystyrene. So he sold it as basically new. Wow. Happy days. Okay, uh, let me come out. Well, that was cool.
So even not working, they were going for what, 20, 30? And then boxed 60 to 80 in like new condition, <clears throat> 100 plus. So Knight Rider, RC, grab it. Oh, I have one of these. Little Mercury Maze. I wonder if they're worth money. Uh, right, I'm going to do one more, I think. I don't know how long I've been on. Should we do one more? Let me dip in the chat. 69 again, <laughs> Carmen. <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, Darren says there, with vintage toys, always check out what shape the decal and stickers are in. Collectors love those to be good. Absolutely. Yeah, you can really jump up in price, can't you, when it comes to condition with vintage toys? the the real hardcore collectors will will rebuy an item to get it in better condition and sell their other one on i mean i know gaming collectors that do that you know if you're a gaming collector for nintendo for example you will rebuy a game so you can get its packaging or you will just buy a manual on its own or a box on its own so you can get the packaging so yeah it's all about that uh i tried to buy this at a toy show it was going for 200 dollars, so i passed what the Knight Rider car? Blimey. <laughs> yes, bum crack picker. Look at the box on that. Okay. <laughs> Hi, Lisa. You didn't miss a lot. No, it's just me geeking out on retro toys. I'm just going through one of my favorite books and um, looking up stuff on eBay. Uh, Trivial Pursuit. I love playing Trivial Pursuit. Yes, I am that sad. <gasps> Transformers. I had, before I was doing YouTube, I had a big collection of Transformers that I had, I had built up. Not a personal collection, but I built up to resell. And I was kind of hoarding them for ages. I must have had 100 units. Uh, and I sold it all off not long before. Um, tip it. I had this little guy that balanced up here. Uh, on his nose and this whole thing tipped and you had to put these weights on and it tipped it around it's a great game tomitronics everyone remembers these little uh like sort of lcd games was it lcd i guess it must have been but anyway you you looked through them and the sunlight through the shot th through the top kind of lit it up there was a shark one a tank one some sort of like Flying Aliens one, wasn't there? Oh, they were so good. Right, let's find one more thing and we'll look it up. Which way am I going? I don't know. Yeah, like I said at the beginning, um, I could, if, you're, if you're of my generation and you love your vintage toys, this book is so much fun. Um, there's a link below to it on Amazon. It's super cheap on Amazon. I think there are penny sellers selling it. So, yeah, I can recommend it. TCR. TCR? Is that just like scale electric? Don't remember TCR. Okay, let me find something that I remember that's cool. Action Man. Oh, I had Action Man. I used to destroy my Action Man. Anyone else just used to? I broke most of my toys on purpose. I set fire to them. All my Matchbox toys and Dinky toys and all of that, I would just like have a crash. And then I'd get a screwdriver and I'd smash it to bits and do the crash damage. That was brutal. Airfix kits, yeah. I didn't really have the patience for that stuff. Battling tops, I had this. Oh, my God. Right, I'm going to find one more cool thing. We'll look it up, and then it's beer time. Big yellow teapot. Someone in our family had that. Ah, oh, that's the sort of uh, Pong game. You know what I mean? Like tennis game on the TV, we had a similar one. But ours was just, I think it was all orange, from what I remember. I whizzed past something earlier that I wanted to look into, and I can't find it now. It's annoying me. Chopper. I had a chopper. <laughs> yes, BCP. I had a chopper. I still got a chopper. <laughs> Oh, where is it? There was this gun thing from the 70s that fired, I think it fired cars from what I remember. And now I can't find the damn thing. 
Where is it? Boglins. I've never managed to find any Boglins. I've seen people in the Facebook group saying they picked up Boglins and they go well on eBay. Why can't I find this damn thing? I saw it when I was flicking through just before. Okay, come on, where is it? Oh, I have to do something else at this rate. Sorry, I'm sure this is riveting viewing. <laughs> Watching me not find the thing I'm looking for. Oh, damn it. Where is it? Well, right, I'm going to do something else. Tell you what, I'm going to do boglins because I have never sold a boglin and I don't really know what they were. Let me find out. I can't find boglins now. Gee whiz. Boglins, boglins, boglins. There we go. Okay. Let's do a little bit of a search on boglins. These were out in 1987. So we're into the 80s on these. And they were basically little squishy characters, weren't they? I think that was about it. I don't know if you put your fingers inside them or something. I vaguely remember them being around, but I never had them. So let's have a look. Anyone in the chat ever had any Boglins? Uh, Rich, laugh out loud. Love it as Nick not even reading <laughs> what is being said about him. <laughs> Why? What were you saying? Make sure you never set fire to your chopper. I did say, did I say that in a chat? I had a chopper. I had it after the fact. So I had mine in the 80s and they were kind of big in the 70s, weren't they? So I had it second, third, fourth hand or whatever. And then it rusted up and the gears stopped working. And I threw it on a fire. So I did set fire to my chopper. <laughs> Not recommended. Uh, Peter, yes, Nick, threw my action man out of my bedroom window. Exactly. I remember having a parachute one. Was, or was that an action man? I can't remember. I remember having, I think, I seem to remember they were smaller. I had little guys that you'd fold the parachute up and then you'd chuck your, the guy out of the window and hope that the parachute opened. They were epic. How can Nick not remember TCR? No, I don't. Total control racing. You can change lanes. No, that passed me by. Right, okay. What is uh, Boglins? Is that from a movie? I don't think it was a movie tie-in. I think, let's see what it says. Um, well, in the book, this is what it says. Like, like I said before, I love this book. It's so funny. You have to hand it to some big brain at Mattel. Oh, they're made by Mattel then. Uh, once they'd hit on the brilliant consonant swapping simplicity of the name, the Boglins story must have written itself. Boglin's story? I haven't got my reading glasses on. I'm struggling, guys. <laughs> Doesn't say anything about a film. Apparently fashioned from more old retreads than ITV Saturday night. These clammy rubber collectibles. Blah, blah, blah. Don't know. I don't know. I don't think it was based on a film. Anyway, I'm going to screen share and we're going to see if they're worth much. Do, do, do. Oh, you remember Boglins are here? It was kind of past my time because in 87, I was, what was I then? 14? I was into music by then. Just I spent all my money on music. I was kind of past toys by then. More your era, I guess. Okay, let's do this. Let's find out about Boglins. Like I say, I've never managed to find one, so I've never sold any myself that I can remember. Screen share. Right. Is that the one? So, Boglins. Oh. Oh. That's not right. Hang on. Let me go vintage. Do they still make these things? Okay. We'll go completed. Rich Sutton, I think Mad Balls were a great toy along with Garbage Pail Kids. Somebody said about Mal Mad Balls. I'm sure Tom said he uh, either had one or remembers having them. Garbage Pail Kids, I remember passionately. Oh, I love those. The illustrations were fantastic. I had them stuck all over my wardrobe. Okay. So these look different. These are tiny. 
Uh, Boglins, damaged doink. They took an offer, so not big money on that. There's one in the box. Boglins, boink, vintage retro rare collectible toy mo monster. Okay, so they're not pricey then, these things. Baby Boglin with egg, rare vintage retro finger puppet. Oh, the, okay, so they are finger puppets. Yeah, I'm sure I remember. And you could kind of push the eyes out. Someone in my family must have had one. You could kind of get your fingers behind the eyes and stick them out. Does that sound right? Um, I loved my pet monsters because they were in handcuffs. Yeah, were they the, the like plush ones? I think they're worth silly money now. Don't forget Teletubbies, Tweenies and Fimbles. Yeah. Oh, I might look up. Um, what was it you, Lisa said there? My Pet Monster. We'll look at that in a minute. Vintage Classic 80s Mattel Boglin took an offer. It was on at 50. They took an offer. So, yeah, there's money in them. Vintage. No, these are ugly things. Look at that. Vintage 1980s Boglin toys. Two times Bog, Boglin. Possibly called Harry Dwork and Squit. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, whatever. Ah, oh, these are ugly. And dusty, by the look of that. Isn't it mad what people will pay good money for? Thundercats. Yes, Darren. Good shout. I love that program. I never had any toys. I kind of started collecting them when I um a little bit when I started reselling. Um, about the same time I sold off my big um kind of haul of um what you call it transformers i also sold off all my star wars stuff all my thundercat stuff and all my he-man stuff it's a real shame i wasn't doing youtube then because i could have shown you all the stuff i was clearing i've been hoarding it since i started recently god these guys are ugly that looks like the thing out of aliens <laughs> it's a face hugger yeah i do remember these more now you stick your fingers in there and you can make their eyes pop out yeah so it's not big money in Boglins by the look of it then, but if you get a boxed one, you might be able to get up to 50. These tiny things look like nothing special at all, do they? 31 there for a boxed one. Yeah. Let me quickly do my pet monster when I'm here, because I'm thinking uh, these are plushes, aren't they? Yeah. Yeah, these can go. I think I saw... Vinny maybe had this once, or was it Joe Pennies? I can't remember. Look at that, hundred pounds. Whoa, they're quite big, aren't they? These things. Hang on, let me just go in here. Hundred pounds on bids. That is awesome. Who pays that for a poxy cuddly toy? Now I think as well. Do the handcuffs? Do they come off? Because that that would be the bit that gets lost, won't it? Is that one picture really? Oh my goodness. <clears throat> Who lists something like that? Clearly worth good money, or maybe they didn't know what it was worth. And does one picture. I'd have used up all 12 on that. Close up of the face, close up of the cuffs. <coughs> Front, the back, everything. All right, let's have a look. Okay, so there's different ones. Uh, do, 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 nine, so that one was hundred pounds. That one says nineteen eighty six. Vintage My Pet Monster here, two thousand and one. So they were still doing them. Yeah. So you want the old ones then? Let's see if there's any more. Yeah, that's that same one. Seventy five. They took an offer. Sixty on buy it now. Possibly undersold that then. Yeah, that's the same thing. No handcuffs, 99. Whoa. Yep, keep your eyes peeled for them. I've never seen one of these in the wild. Cool. Good shout, Lisa. Right, shall I keep going? Have I bored you senseless yet? Oh, it's so addictive, isn't it? Okay. Um, I don't know how long I've been on i'm gonna do one more i can't help myself 
Make some suggestions. What do you tell me something you remember from your childhood and we'll have a, have a look. Why don't the computers of the day make much money now? I'm thinking Commodore 64 or ZX Spectrum. I think there's plenty of them about. Again, it comes down to condition. If you can get one in its box with its inserts and stuff, you can talk, you can start talking serious money. Major, major. Major, major. Was that the little thing you pressed the buttons and it made noises? Is that what, is that what I'm thinking? From the 80s, yeah? Right, let me go back in the screen share and we'll just look up a few random bits and then I'll, I'll leave you all to uh, go and have a Friday night drink. Right, um, screen share, that one, that one, share. Trouble is, I'd be on here all night looking at vintage toys. It's just too addictive. Right, so what was I looking up? Uh, major, major vintage toy. Let's see if that comes up. Major Major is not going to really do it, is it? Ah, okay. Major Morgan. Is that what you meant? Major Morgan. Yeah, that, that totally rings a bell. It was like a little blue and red thing, wasn't it? And you press the buttons in it. Oh, it's coming up already. Major Morgan. Yeah. Oh, look at that. That looks cheap for a boxed one. 1979 copyright date on that. on bid 17 i reckon that's on the sold oh wow yeah and you had little cards that's right and you slotted them in oh we so had this someone in our house had this play school oh cool 17 doesn't that seem cheap uh okay let's have a look see what else they've got uh something else 22 on bids in the box okay maybe they're not worth a great deal uh 1450 uh is that for two great work on the picture there guys <laughs> uh 2350 box yeah there's not much money i guess there were plenty of these about 26.99 in the box who's this nude guy that keeps cropping up don't know yeah totally remember that though Another, what is it with the sideways pitches? Right. What else do you want? Uh, big yellow teapot. Yes, Sue. That's in the book as well. Let's have a look at that. Big yellow teapot. And there was a, what was that one? It was like a tree, wasn't it? And the top of the tree popped up. Oh, what was that? Tree house, was it? Something? Big yellow teapot. <laughs> There's a big yellow teapot. Not quite what we're looking for. Yep, 21 pounds. Again, this is all going to come down to what you've got with it, I guess. Look at the jump there because it's got its accessories. 59. Ooh. So what did it come with then? I do remember these being around. So it's got people and furniture. Oh, the boot. God, I remember the boot. Yes, yeah, so you've got, what's that? Are they cars? Cars, chairs, a bed, uh, people and a dog. There you go. So I wouldn't be surprised if they're worth money then. If we, if in the bottom of a rummage box or in a charity shop you can pick up those characters, people would be buying those, surely, to put with a teapot. That's in good condition, though, isn't it? Oh, I remember this. Wow. I wonder if people have been selling just the uh characters uh so 20 pound there one pound 20 on bids oh dear 18 20 oh someone was trying to get 12.99 for one of the characters 40 quid with the box uh complete with original box so yeah it looks like they didn't have a great deal of stuff in it just the what was it four people and a dog some furniture yeah five pounds on bids oh it's missing a window there just want to see 
someone trying to get 1750 for one person and a car i can't find any completed let me try let me just try um bigular teapot uh person would that do it uh no uh da -da 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 -da. people Oh, well. right evil knievel damn we did that we did that a while back and they go for silly money in a box tamagotchi yeah collectible of the future well they are already yeah you can get good money for tamagotchis weebles oh my god yes right last one we're going to do weebles last one honest i had weebles from like i think they've reissued them haven't they from the 70s i used to play with my weebles in the bath uh <laughs> hang on <laughs> let me just come out of screen share that's a sentence nobody should ever say i used to play with my weebles in the bath there they are well there's one they were quite creepy because they had like hollow eyes you know their eyes were holes i'm sure they're in here weebles is this alphabetical it is alphabetical, so I could have found what I was looking for earlier quite easily. Weebles. And the subtitle is, does my bum look big in this? They were the simplest little things. They were just little round-bottomed characters that couldn't fall over. The TV advert used to go, um, weebles wobble, but they don't fall down. And you could get buses and cars and ships. I had boats. So I had my weebles in the bath. Ah, <laughs> oh, I love those. But I think they were quite creepy looking with hollow black eyes. But yeah, let's have a look. I mean, they were they were sold in their millions. So egg shaped. Yeah, they were totally. Weebles are cheap. Yeah, wouldn't surprise me. Wobbling, they don't fall down. Exactly. Nick, don't say another word. Yeah. I'll make Andrea laugh with that one later. I'll tell Andrea about my weebles. She knows all about my weebles. Okay, let's have a quick look for weebles. Like someone said, I doubt there's great deal, a great deal of money in them. Um, we'll have a quick look, and then, honest to God, I am going. Right, weebles. I'll put vintage in there as well. Uh, we all completed. Yep. Yeah. Oh, they were made by Airfix. There you go. So 28 figures and the playground, £33 on bid. So, yeah, not big money. Not much demand by the look of this. Look, these are all completed, but most of these haven't sold. Let's just go into solds. Karin, I used to get a big ice cream tub of water chucked over me in the bath it was traumatic i remember as a very young kid having my hair washed by my mum and you know when the when the water came on to rinse i would scream and it'd be like my shampoo's in my eyes yeah and we used to share but did... god that sounds wrong but i used to share baths with my sisters you know what i mean there'd be three of us in it at some points anyway um <laughs> vintage airfix 1970s yeah oh these take me back so 18 pounds for a bundle of how many is there two four six eight nine yeah there's not much money i mean if you see a bag full of them at a car boot then clearly it's worth grabbing but don't pay much for these um oh look at those they look like um what i imagine humpty dumpty would look like Egg shaped, basically, like someone said in the chat. Um, this stream is till midnight. It could be Hillsman. I might do another one another time, but I will have to. I know a lot of guys are going to go um, live and do some game streaming soon, so I can't be much longer. I bet Nick used Vosine shampoo and Matey. Oh, Matey, certainly. I don't remember Vosine, whatever that is. But matey, oh my goodness. Yeah, and it had the, the cap 
was like a sailor's hat. Tell you what, I know I said that was the last thing. <laughs> Let's see if there's any matey. Uh... There it is. See, the top of the bottle was like a sailor's cap, a sailor's hat thing. Oh, imagine how much vintage matey bottles would be worth. There's none on here. Matey bottle, no. Oh, there's a modern one. Uh... Oh, Peter's super chatted. Cheers, mate. Great that we learn so much from each reseller. I'm hoping that you're learning something. I mean, obviously, we could all just do this on our own, but it's just so much more fun when you just have a laugh with people in the chat. I can't find any vintage matey bottles, but I bet you they would go for money. Let's see. No, nothing's coming up. Okay. Let me just come out of screen share. Stop. Right. I'm going to leave you wonderful people there. Thank you so much for joining me in the side chat. It just makes the whole thing so much fun when you've got people to chat to. Uh, if you enjoyed it, let me know. Uh, if you're watching this after the event, um, please leave me a comment below. If you had any of those toys, what toys you remember, toys you want me to look up next time because I love this. And if you guys enjoy it, I'll do this again sometime. And we can just learn stuff together. So if there's anything you want me to look up next time, drop it in the comments below when this video is up on YouTube after the event. Thank you so much for joining me, everybody. Please give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed that. Enjoy your Friday night. I'm off to, oh, I need to do a beer run. Yeah, I need to go and get some beer. It's gone nine. Thank you so much for joining me, guys. Take care, and I'll speak to you soon.